Welcome back. I finally made it to the workshop to continue working on the trimaran. Um, I know in the last video I said that I would show you how I cut the pieces, but I completely forgot about it. Um, so the part that I have right there, that's the bathroom floor, that's the part that we were um, talking about in the last uh, Nortama video I did. Uh, so you're seeing this in the future and then if I remember to download the footage um, I will make that video and it'll be the next well <laughs> I shouldn't promise that it might come out eventually uh, the actual process of uh, cutting and gluing that piece that you see in the background there um, otherwise this is just gonna be a time-lapse um, of what I did over the last week. Uh, I'm going to split it up into two videos, so you'll have this one and then this is just going to be me assembling the tank um, and glassing it and uh, putting it all together and all that. Um, and then the next video I'm going to do it will just be me slamming this to the adjoining pieces. So here I am just kind of smoothing out the shape and then I'm going to add these panels to it. Now this isn't the exterior hull. It is the same shape as the exterior hull, but I needed something to glass for the interior of the tank. So that's what the this side piece here is for. Uh, that way I can, you know, 100% make sure that it's uh, water and gas tight because this is my black tank. This is my holding tank. So the way I assembled all these pieces is just with hot glue at first, and then I go back with uh, thickened epoxy and I'll do the corners, uh, and then a glass eventually over all of it to uh, really make it strong. So again, this is just thickened epoxy with cabasil or aerosil, one of the two, I don't know. It's a very fine powder that you add to the epoxy to make it thicker. And it I, I was using um, cotton flock, but I found that it was harder to get the consistency I wanted. Um, and it, it would sometimes leave little gaps uh, if I accidentally mixed it too thick. Whereas this stays pretty mm, sort of viscous and it smooths nicely. I struggled a little bit when I first started putting all these pieces together again because all of these parts I pre-cut so that was six months ago six or seven months ago my goodness and uh, I didn't remember exactly where they were they went I thought I was really well prepared uh, during the, the planning process because I have all these labels on things you can see you know like waste tank 2 waste tank dash F waste tank floor that kind of stuff but uh, yeah, when I when I had the parts in my hand, I did not remember where they had to go. So you'll see me struggle with that here in a second. And I had to pull up the uh, pull up the design to make sure that <laughs> I wasn't losing my mind. Yeah, so after checking the plan, I was able to get back on track.
This part that I'm working on now is the uh, water reservoir for the hydroponics. So it'll hold, uh, I think, uh, five to eight gallons. I don't remember exactly. But that'll be all the water for uh, the plants that I'll be growing in there. Yeah, sorry I don't have any footage here of the interior of that tank. I was just kind of head down to the grindstone trying to knock out as much as I could. You know, the next time I work on the boat though I want to be a lot more intentional about what I film. So that it can be more, so it's, I'm going to try and shift away from these time lapses. These are great for me for the future when I want to confirm that I actually built something. 30 years ago but uh, yeah they're not very much fun to watch at least I don't know maybe they are maybe they're not I don't know so here I finally start cutting some glass and I learned well I remembered last time that I always tried to uh, bite off more than I could chew so to speak with the fiberglass so this time I just cut it into nice square sections um, and then overlapped the uh, the sheets so that some places were thicker, some places were thinner, but it, it didn't end up being a problem. Actually, I think it's the right way to do it anyway. I'm no expert. I'm, you know, I'm just winging most of this. But um, yeah, trying to cut out the actual shape of things and have like a pattern for the glass ended up just being way too much work um, and the glass shifts and everything else so it was just easier for me to cut these small squares and then glass everything together and it's just sort of like manageable small sections and I don't know what's the best I just do this because it's what works for me and it's what allows me to I don't know, get a decent uh, quality surface Yeah, so this is a wraps it up for this video. Uh, in the next one, I'm like I said, I was gonna be I'm gonna be putting the pieces together, and and then after that, we need to build the I think it's called a strong back, the wooden foundation for this, and then we can actually put the bow, the kitchen, and the bathroom all together, and we should have about a 20 foot long piece, um, which will be exciting, but it's also gonna be a pain in the ass because that's gonna really foul up the shop that it's in. But, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.